Hello everyone, today I'm here to do an unboxing for you. Today I'm unboxing Cozy Reader Club. I have unboxed a few other boxes before on my channel. I will link them up here. Um, Cozy Reader Essay is a woman's adult box. It's really geared to like setting time aside for yourself, which is always a good thing. And I know I can use that a lot right now because I'm so sick. So sorry for my voice. <laughs> Keep saying that. Sorry. <laughs> I can't get rid of the sickness. Either way, Cozy Reader is quite expensive. I'd say if you're looking for more luxurious book boxes where you're going to get a lot of high quality items and kind of really artisan items, I would recommend Cozy Reader Club. I do have a coupon code for you, which link down below. I think it's either for five or 10% off, which is always good to save money, but there is more on the expensive side, but goodness me, there is not a box I've gotten from them that has not been beautifully like curated. Like I've used all of their stuff. They've sent really good jewelry. I have a pillowcase from them. They've sent beautiful candles. They've sent lotions. There's always usually like either coffee or like treats in here as well. So Yay, excited to open this box. Or if you hear my son in the background. Ugh, it's been a day, guys. Either links down below if you wanna check out Cozy Reader Club. So, yay. We have our card, and this is like the winter theme. That's beautiful. And it tells you everything that's on the back and the prices of it. And it's really a high value box, so you can see where your money is actually going towards. So I see everything. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out is the coffee, because there's always like either coffee or something on here. And this coffee is from Noble Coffee Roasting, and it's the World Tour and it's flavors of hazelnut, red wine, and cacao nibs. And it smells freaking divine. Like, I don't know if this is the beans or actually, and this is the beans. Mm. See, the only problem I have with that is I don't have like the right tools to like ground coffee up. Like, I'm just used to like coffee ground. So, I don't know what tools I need to get because this smells, this smells heavenly. I don't drink a lot of coffee, but Goodness me, I could smell coffee all day and be a happy camper. Either way, this is a huge bag of coffee, and this is fresh, organic, and handcrafted. And Noble Coffee Roasting is from um, Ashland, Oregon, which is awesome. So either way, that's a big size coffee. Like the next thing I see is a shower poof. I'm actually in need of one of these, honestly. <laughs> oh, this is a really pretty one too. It looks kind of like vintagey. I don't know, it's a nice shower poof. Like it's not like those cheap ones you can get from like Walmart, you know what I'm saying, for like a dollar, which I've gotten a ton of those in my day. But this is from the company Cassia Organics. And it's a handmade natural ramic mesh poof. Is wonderful, gentle, is wonderful for gentle exfoliation. Handmade in Connecticut. Um, this is, um, so the coffee, just so you know, was $15 for that bag alone, which I believe. And this was $5. So that's a pretty good price, I think, for a really beautiful shower poof that I'm going to use, honestly. Can't wait to use it because it's adorable. Next thing I see is a bath. Bomb. Yes, this is from Clean Line Soap Company, and this is fresh baked vanilla bean scented. Oh my gosh, they know me so well. I'm gonna open this up because I really want to smell the full vanilla. I love vanilla smell. Oh my gosh, this this smells amazing. I've got a lot of but I've got a lot of bath bombs and boxes before. This is my favorite one hands down because it's just straight up vanilla. I love vanilla so much. So this is. $4.50, which I could see. So this is um, really good. This is made with cocoa butter to soothe the moisture as your skin and top with turpinado sugar for a little extra sweetness. And this is handmade in North Carolina, my sister's state. That's awesome. I'm definitely going to use this. Next I see are these two little things right here. These are both from the same company called Chargrin Valley Soap and Salve Company. And this one is a Mocha Java Lip Balm. Ooh. Mmm, like I said, I love to smell of coffee. I'm gonna smell it all the time with this lip balm. That's awesome. I love the packaging on this. It's kind of just clean and I don't know what the right word is. Rustic maybe? I don't know. I love the way this looks. This is lip balm. It's $4.10. This is all natural certified organic lip balm made with cocoa butter and jojo bean oil infused with coffee beans and handcrafted in Ohio. And this even tells you like when it was brewed like man and everything and it tells you all the ingredients. I want to use this because um I go through some chapstick in the winter times because it's so freaking cold here. And the other thing from their company is Whip Shea Vanilla Bean Body Butter. Yes, vanilla. Smells amazing. Look at that. It's very whipped. You can't see, but I'll do a close-up. It looks like literally like whipped cream. Like, if you didn't know any better, you could be like, oh, I'm going to eat this. <laughs> but this... 
Mmm, it smells so good. And on the back, it says very concentrated. You will be surprised how far a tiny dollop will go. Especially effective if used when skin is still warm and damp after bathing or showering. I mean, damn, I got a nice pampering here. I got a bath bomb I'm gonna use with my shower poof. And then um, when I get out of the bath, I'm gonna use this freaking vanilla bean oil and then use this lip balm. I'm gonna use the crap out of this. Oh, because my skin is very dry as well, just like my lips because of the winter time. So this is perfect. This one is um, $9.50. It is a very small amount, but if it's as contrary as I say, this can last for a very long time. So I cannot wait for that. And then the last goodie before I get into the book is, is a treat. And it is Vanilla Dream Cookie from Una Bakery. A delicious gourmet cookie with light vanilla flavor. And this right here retails for... Um, seven dollars made in small batches in New York, and this is was this the vanilla? This is me a hundred percent. Oh, there it looks like kind of shortbread cookies. I'm gonna, I saved this for last because I'm gonna have to eat it obviously, and my makeup, my lipstick. This is what they look like. Delicious. And it tastes like a vanilla shortbread cookie. A cookie. Let me see if I can get my son over here to, to take a bite. Careful. Come here. Come here. Do you want a bite? Mmm. This is really good. Like, they put the best. Let me stop. <laughs> they put the best treats in these boxes. Like, mm. and now we are on to the book of the month. And it's a book that I am very, very anticipating. And that is The Immortalist by Chloe Benjamin. Look at this cover. This book came out at the end of January. Oh, I'm so excited to read this. I'm actually planning to read this with a buddy read um, and with another YouTuber. And this basically is 1969 and it's in New York and it takes place like the psychic comes to town and she can pretty much tell anyone the day that they're gonna die. So it follows this family called the Gold Children, four of them, and they decide to go to the psychic to learn the day of when they're going to die. And they learn it and basically this book follows them throughout the decades of their life and what they do with their life they're each one on very different paths and pretty much this book is all about like if you knew the date of your death how would you live your life so that's what this whole book is kind of questioning the notion if you knew when you were going to die would it affect your life and how would it live your life would it make you live it more or not so much so it's a very very interesting book so that's everything you're getting quickly to go over everything you're getting you're getting this full thing of coffee you are getting a vanilla bath bomb and you're getting the shower poof you're getting these vanilla cookies you're getting a mocha lip balm you're getting a vanilla body butter and you're getting a hardback new release book the immortalist and yeah i like everything in this box the only thing that i'm not going to use right away honestly is the coffee because i don't have like a grind is that what it is a grinder is that what you use? <laughs> I'm so coffee illiterate, it's not even funny. So that's the only thing I'm not gonna use right away. Everything else, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna be straight up with you, I'm gonna use it. And I'm gonna read this book, oh whoops, I'm gonna read this book within the next couple of months. So yay, I cannot recommend Cozy Reader enough. I think they're an awesome box, so be sure to check them out. I'll leave all their links down below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.